So in this discussion forum, we're going to talk about how powerful search is and why search is so powerful. So this chapter talks about how important search is. In the very early days of the web, there really weren't search engines, and when they first started to come out, they weren't all that good. In the early days, you just had sort of yellow pages like search engines, and I don't even know if you know what a yellow pages are anymore because people don't necessarily use their phone book, but it's sort of a categorized listing of everything that was available, and we used to have that for the web. So for most of my examples, I'm going to use Google, primarily because the book focused on Google and because Google is really the king of search right now. So as an example of this, how many times have you wanted to look up some information, typed it into your favorite search engine, for the moment I'll assume Google, and it didn't find it? And then you think, well, it must not exist. Why do you assume that? That's a good starting point for our discussion. Why do you assume that if it doesn't show up on the search engine, it just doesn't exist on the web? This chapter proposes that search is a form of power. And that's what I want to discuss in this discussion forum. So let's talk about that. How is search a form of power? So one example is that companies can't thrive if people can't find them through the search engines. Sure, you might remember your favorite company's URL directly, but for people who don't know exactly what that company sells and they start to search for it, if it doesn't show up on the first page of the search engine, then that company's not going to get the sales. Another way that search is power is that ideas need to be able to be shared to spread. So if you just have some sort of vague idea you want to look up and you want to learn about what other people are thinking about it, if you can't find them, perhaps because there's some sort of, sort of censorship in place, then you can't learn about them and so you can't grow. Another way in which search is power is that their algorithms are hidden and you don't necessarily know how to get to the top of that front page. In some ways that you can do it actually violate the terms of an agreement and can move you from what you thought was the front page to suddenly not being listed at all. Another one is how does money fit in? So since search is power, and I talked a lot about examples of companies, should companies be able to buy their way to the top of the search results? If companies can spend money in order to buy their way to the top of the search results, how do you feel about trusting your search results? I've given you a lot to think about on how search is a form of power, so let's get going and discussing that.